Hey everybody, this is Tomo42. Hello. Uh, I just had my meet and greet monthly meeting. Uh, we went up to Kohut's uh, garden. And Kohut and Roswell asked me to do some aquaponics threads here. So, right here I'm just going to explain how the whole system works, just in general. This, as you might be able to see, is a very small balcony on my apartment so there's not a whole lot of room here which of course makes for a very small system but it may, it's good for demonstration purposes basically aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture which is raising fish and hydroponics which is raising vegetables or other plants in a non-soil medium so let's start with the fish right here I've just got a five gallon bucket. It's full of fish. And I don't know if you can see them swimming down there at the bottom. Um, the big black thing is a pump. So I feed fish. Pump pumps water up into these two buckets. Now of course they don't have to be buckets, just any old containers will do, as long as they're food safe. Uh, if you can see here, the pump's on right now, the water is coming out. And this bucket will flood. It will, uh, it's filled with gravel all the way down. And then there's uh, the drain pipe in the middle. Um, the, the water level will rise, and the, uh, that'll continue as long as the pump's on. We've got an overflow protection here in case it gets too high. I don't know if you can see that down there. And I keep that on for 15 minutes or so each hour. So how does this whole thing work? Well, I feed the fish. They then poop in the water and the fish excrete ammonia. If you've ever kept a fish tank before, you'll know that you'll have to do either heavy filtration or you'll have to do water changes to keep the levels of ammonia down because too much ammonia, the fish will suffocate in their own waste. Um, aqu aquaponics solves that problem. As the water is pumped through the gravel here, the, the gravel performs a couple different functions. First of all, it filters out the, um, the actual physical large waste products. So they get stuck in between the gravel and break down over time. Um, not that long either. Secondly, the, the ammonia that's in the water then gets in contact with the gravel. On the gravel live different species of bacteria. The bacteria break the ammonia, which is NH3, into nitrite, which is NO2, and then different species of ammonia then break that nitrite into nitrate, which is NO3. Now you might have heard of nitrate because it's used as a fertilizer, and that's what the plants use to fuel their vegetative growth. So, Essentially, that process then removes all the nitrogen from the water and feeds it to the plants in a plant-soluble form. Uh, the water then goes back to the fish, cleaned of the fish waste products. So the fish are happy, they're living in clean water. The plants are happy, they're getting uh, all the nitrogen they want because the, the liquid environment is very easily easy to absorb those nutrients as compared to soil. And so they grow very quickly, and you get a lot, of, um, a lot of plant in a small amount of space, so it's more efficient in time and space than traditional raising of plants. Because basically they're living in fertilizer. And um, that's basically how it works. Now, there are different varieties of aquaponics. This is just kind of your standard variety with the gravel filtration. Um, that blue barrel over there is going to become a different style of aquaponics called nutrient film uh, technique where um, well, the filtration and plant growing are in two separate stages. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it works. Uh, as you can see here, I've got kale, uh, I've got some mint growing here. Mint tends to go, I mean mint goes rampant in the ground, it goes really rampant in aquaponics, uh, which is why I have it separated here. Um, these are just some, some green onions that I... Oh, that one's dead. Um, give those to the worms. 
that I, you know, just bought from the supermarket and planted the bottoms of. I've already harvested these a couple times, which is why they're looking so straggly. Um, these little guys are mini are seeds from mini peppers that I just threw in here. Uh, some mini bell peppers. Hopefully, they'll grow mini plants and produce more mini peppers. And um, yeah, the the other plant growing aspects still apply. So you know, there, you still need light, which is my main problem here. Uh, and um, you know, the the temperatures have to be right, and so on. Uh, the nice thing, one of the nice things about aquaponics is that because you have uh, an integrated ecosystem here, then all of your treatments and all of your, your care of the system has to work for everything involved. So if you have a plant, if you get a, some pests in your plants, you can't just spray it with uh, herbicide because, well, that would kill the fish. So anything you do basically has to be very nature friendly. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below. Again, this is just a small system, and but it, it illustrates the principle, I think, fairly well. And that's it. We'll see you next time.